Cuba. He's been a familiar face on television now for what seems to most of us like a lifetime. But 50 years ago, Andy Griffith was making his first film, a picture called A Face in the Crowd. It's out now on DVD, and we had a chance to sit down and talk to Mr. Griffith about the film and about a little tune that most of us can whistle in our sleep. Look out for him. He's mean. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Andy Griffith another sensational newcomer from Ilya Kazan, who brought you Marlon Brando and James Dean. It was ahead of its time in many ways, 1957's A Face in the Crowd, and now it's part of Warner Home Entertainment's DVD collection called Controversial Classics. Andy Griffith sat down with us recently to talk about the film many consider his best work ever. What do you think the uh, enduring lesson is of the story in Face in the Crowd? Face in the Crowd is a social commentary of how the public can be deceived and everybody, everybody, advertisers, uh, politicians, ministers, everybody uses television to get their message across. They're mine. I own them. They think like I do. But they're even more stupid than I am. <laughs> so I gotta think for them. This story, our story, which was made all these years ago, tells how a man of power can do this and how in our case it was very destructive. I'm not just an entertainer. I'm an influence, a wielder of opinion, a force. A force. Oh, if they ever heard the way that psycho really talks. You've been on television yourself for, gosh, what, five decades, four decades? Four, I guess. There isn't a place probably on the, on the earth that doesn't know, da dun 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 da dun dun you know? Yeah. Do you, do you ever look back on that and go, what were the odds? We never thought about it. We never thought about it. We never knew. We thought the show would be on once, maybe once in rerun. We never knew, we never thought about it. It took on its own life. And uh, that theme that you just kind of hummed, Earl Hagen wrote that. And uh, I hear that behind me in airports everywhere. One time we went down to the uh, symphony here in town and uh, the first piece was a Mozart piece and the violin section was over here. I mean the viola section was over here. And I saw that somebody was looking at me. We were in the front row. I saw somebody was looking at me. Later in after intermission they played a new American piece, beautiful piece, with uh, big orchestra and chorus, and the viola section was right in front of us, right in front of us. So the conductor was going about like that, and that viola section whistled the thing from the old Griffith show. <laughs>